What's up, everyone? So, 2K released some new cards today. The uh, throwback moments. And if you were able to get all of them, you could lock it in and get Pink Diamond Junior Bridgman. As you can see, I did that here. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about Junior and uh, how he plays. So he's a 96 overall, small forward slash shooting guard. Um, 99 offense, 90 defense, 6 foot 5. Has pretty good offensive stats, pretty good shooter as you can see, 87 3 ball. Uh, good driving dunk, good perimeter defense, good steal. He's pretty fast as well. So uh, his stats look pretty good. And if we go to badges, 20 Hall of Fame. Uh, pretty good badges too. Contact finisher, fancy footwork, uh, fast break finisher, giant slayer, pro touch, showtime. So that's good. Uh, quick first step, volume shooter, and he also has 30 golds like catch and shoot. Uh, good, good stuff uh, from the looks of it. And uh, he has a good amount of upgradable badges too, as you can see. So uh, initially going into this, I was expecting him to uh, be pretty good, but after playing with him, I could say he's very, very good. As you can see, I just greened to three within 10 seconds of the game starting. Love to see that. Um, yeah, this card is, is very good. Um, see, I don't know if I would go out and like buy packs. Uh, just for this card but um, if you were to lock in for a collection or you have a lot of MT or something this guy is definitely good um, I got really lucky and I bought a, uh, a box of 10 packs and um, that left me with enough money after that to get one more single pack and I got everybody in the set in that 10 box and that single pack. Plus, I got a second Jerry Stackhouse that I sold. So, um, I don't know if it's just me, but these packs are crazy today. And uh, I was happy to see that. I was curious to see um, how uh, Junior Bridgman would play. And uh, I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, my team is kind of lacking in small forwards, to be honest, and uh, this is definitely a good addition. Um, he's mainly offensive. Uh, I mean, he he could defend on the perimeter pretty well, and uh, he got a few rebounds too in the game, which is good. But um, offense is probably going to be uh, what you mainly use him for. Plus his release is really, really good. Like, I was greening, one one of the shots you'll see later on, I greened like a 26% contested three, which is uh, unheard of for like me, cause I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too good at timing shots well. I'm more of a, uh, you know, drive and make the layup or the dunk, but this guy was very easy to shoot with. Um, I don't know how much the cards in the set are going to go down. Um, this morning, they were going for a pretty good amount. But, um, I mean, I assume they're going to go down a decent amount. I know a lot of people weren't too like excited about this set. Ben Gordon is actually going for a lot. He's going for, um, at the moment that I'm recording this, he's going for 340,000 MT. And let's see, Jerry Stackhouse is going for uh, 176,000. And TJ Warren is going for, he's a buy now. Um, 77, I see. 76, 76. Um, so yeah, he's probably in like the 70s. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I'm, I'm sure they'll go down in price. Uh, hopefully they do because uh, this card is really good and if, if it's like feasible for you to get the cards in this set, then um, in my opinion, I think you have yourself a very good reward card. Um, I don't know, there haven't been a lot of good lock-in rewards this year uh, so far. Um, I mean, Cam Reddish, definitely good. Um, well, especially lately, there haven't been many. I can't even think of... Um, there was George McGinnis. Um, from what I've heard, he's not very good. And uh, but compared to this guy, this guy is very very good. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get him if I were you guys. But um, if you have a lot of MT, like I said. It's probably something that you could do. Uh, you get a lot of good players um, while you're getting a uh, junior, like like Ben Gordon. Uh, I've heard he's really good. I haven't played with him yet. Um, if you guys want to see like a gameplay with him, uh, I could definitely do that. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse, I didn't play with yet either. I want to see a gameplay with him too. I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he's making um, a lot of his threes. I think I went 10 for 13 from three with him, which is insane, uh, to say the least. He um, had a few really crazy dunks, too, on people. Um, I think there's one coming up soon, actually, where he just posterized, like five different people <laughs> it was uh very good um i tried uh you know passing a little bit i mean i tried using my or uh i tried running my offense through junior bridgman this game um oh yeah there we go that <laughs> that's what i was talking about um yeah i tried running my offense through him this game and uh, only passing to people if they're like wide open and I still ended up beating this guy by like a lot and as you can see uh, Junior Bridgman has 68 points right now um, greened a nice three uh, pretty contested three too and uh, I did end up fouling out with him but it, there was only like 30 seconds left so it wasn't that big of a deal um, yeah, as you can see, he's not in the game right now. But, yeah, we uh, we won by 13 points. Um, I'll show you guys how we did in the game once this uh, MT screen goes away. Uh, he did very good, though. Uh, I can assure you, he's a very good player. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so 74 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. 10 for 13 from 3, 26, or no, 29 uh, for 51 from the field, and uh, 10 dunks. Yeah, he's pretty good.